Hey guys, so today we're gonna to talk about these guys, these fellas. Uh, Mr. Yash, he's a star of the KRS channel. He's the main, he's the mascot. So I wanna talk about dogs and prosperity today, you know, and how is it that this little creature, this four-legged creature brings prosperity into people's lives, whether happiness, marriage, children, uh, and all of that. And if you think this is regarding Vedic astrology, it's kind of not, because even though in Vedic astrology, they are represented by the south node Ketu, south node of the moon, and Saturn also. But I've seen people who had the worst place Saturn in their chart and, the, and Ketu, yet once they got a dog, they actually had a lot of prosperity in their life. And that's because these guys, and you know, everything has an energy in this world. Everything is emitting energy. So these guys emit a very positive energy within them. Okay, even in South India, there's a god named Murg, God who also, and, I, and this is, don't quote me on it, it's, just, it's something I just distinctly remember that he, in his text it said that dogs are, you know, your past life ancestors and they're able to not only give out positive energy, but they take in positive energy, negative energy, okay? So every, if there's some negative energy in your house and you bring a dog, slowly, slowly, they will observe that energy within them because they supposed they supposedly have something that they absorb it and it doesn't hurt them and they release it while they give out positive energy like the plants giving out oxygen and i saw this in my own life like when i got this little little boy uh, he was like a little mouse this big and from the day i got him it's just completely changed everything you know i have not felt i've not felt down depressed and out ever since i got him because he just brings this energy in the house. He just brings this, you know, like a little boy, a little kid running around doing naughty things. And this is what he does all day. So, you know, even every, every spiritual book or every spiritual uh, cultural phenomenon, you know, talks about dogs and prosperity like uh, feng shui. In feng shui, they say dog bring very positive vibration. Um... They obviously in Vedic astrology, they talk about this. Well, they talk about it in Lal Kitab and all that. But, you know, it's just don't go on that because a lot of people don't get them because they feel like, oh, my God, my planetary, my alignment is bad. So I'm not going to get them. <laughs> Please. I probably have the worst planetary alignment in the world. And, you know, this guy just uh, showed me the positive side of things. And here's the thing. These guys... The, the reason why they bring such a positive aspect in life is because they're always, no matter how you treat them, how, what you do, they are always are there uh, to give you love, to give you, you know, nourishment. They give you nourishment. You don't give them. You know, they give you the nourishment. So it's very important that you guys, you know, know that dogs do bring prosperity. And... If you follow me and if you have been following my stuff and you do not like dogs, but because you're hearing this, you're going to get a dog. Please don't do that because you are going to end up probably mistreating the dog, you know, because there are a lot of people who are not into animals, who are not into this, yet they will do it because like a medic, like a medic medicine, you know, for medicative reasons. Uh, but please don't do that because I've seen people get dogs for those reasons while a dog, most dogs are supposed to be indoors, yet their dog is outdoors because, and they just feed them. When the time comes, feed them, that's it. A lot of people in, in India do this. You know, so if you think that you want prosperity, yet you don't like dogs and you're going to get a dog, just don't do it. Okay, please, just disappear. Let that animal go to a better home, okay? Uh, but if you are thinking about it and you've heard all these nonsense in Vedic astrology that... You should not get a dog. You should get a dog. And life goes bad if you get a dog. And life goes good for you if you get a dog. No. Please. I have... When I did this thing, I already knew about all of this. And I still got them. And yes, it's been just the most positive experience of my life. So this was my little um, teaching on dogs and prosperity. And uh, if you love these guys, if you, you know feel like you are ready to get one <clears throat> definitely get one 
I suggest get an indoor because a dog's energy needs to be indoor. You know, if you're, it's outdoor, it's, it's going away. You know, it's like a radio signal. Radio signal will keep going, going, going. But when the dog is inside, the radio signal goes, hits the ceiling, comes back, stays within the house, and just creates this positive experience. Can't tell you, you know, how positive everything has been ever since he came, but it's been good. All right. And remember, guys, God backwards is dog. So make sure you respect them and love them no matter what any religion, culture says. These guys need to be loved and respected. But I know that. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe above because, hey, you just found something very unique here. Okay, something that uh, not too many people talk about. But uh, if you want to know more about astrology, though, check out the link below. All right. Otherwise, I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye-bye.